The Undertaker was among those vocal about the 2024 U.S. presidential election. The celebrity wing of the WWE Hall of Fame is home to America's 45th and 47th president, so it's fitting that there were several pro wrestling angles to this year's showdown for the White House. Taker has finally opened up with post election remarks on Batista and Mick Foley following Donald Trump's landslide win. Trump had the support of names like Hulk Hogan and the Brothers of Destruction in the 2024 election, while Batista and Mick Foley were among the Kamala Harris backers. Batista has knocked Trump for years, and taken shots at his supporters. The Guardians of the Galaxy actor appeared in content for the Harris, Val's campaign and delivered a harsh anti-Trump promo in an appearance for Jimmy Kimmel. That same week, the Undertaker interviewed Trump on his Six Feet Under podcast and joined Kane for an endorsement video with the billionaire himself. Taker discussed the fallout during an appearance on Fox News Gutfeld. This week, along with the panel and FNC contributor Tyrus, Fkabrodus Clay of WWE, the Phenom recalled the podcast episode with Trump and the endorsement video, noting that the latter had really kicked off a firestorm of feedback which included some controversial remarks from the animal. Tyrus joked about Batista wearing skinny jeans and later noted how he had lost out on many jobs because of his work with conservative, leaning FNC. The Funkasaurus also mentioned how he wasn't allowed to come back, in an apparent WWE reference, adding that he also was not allowed at certain places, and he lost out on movie deals, because of his conservative beliefs. The one, time NWA World's heavyweight champion believes things are changing now, but his side supposedly treats the other side better as they have no desire to stop someone from earning money because of what they believe. The Undertaker agreed and made clear his stance on Batista and Mick Foley. Trump's podcast strategy is touted as a big part of why he won the election by many observers. One of his first related podcast appearances came in June on Impulsive with WWE's Logan Paul. A photo of Trump, Paul, and the WWE United States Championship went viral ahead of the podcast premiere. The Undertaker has seemingly endorsed Joe Tessitore as the new voice of WWE Raw. The 19-year broadcaster joined WWE earlier this year and will continue working for ABC slash ESPN. The Undertaker joined Tessie Torrey and Joe Palmer in the ABC booth during a recent college football game between the Texas Longhorns and the Florida Gators. The noted Longhorns fan took to X with a clip from the broadcast and had words of praise for Tessie Torrey. The dead man is gearing up for his final 3-1, man shows of 2024. WWE has announced the following Undertaker One Deadman Show events for next month, Friday, December 13th at the Factory in Deep Ellum, Texas. Saturday, December 14th at 713 Music Hall in Houston, Texas. Sunday, December 15th at Emos in Austin, Texas.